Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Um, this is what we got going on here. We've got this sitting out here in the shop as you can see. We've had it out here for a while. It's turned on. We have the the receiver in the bedroom and we've been listening to this receiver and there is some crazy shit going on. There's stuff in here moving around and it's kind of it's kind of freaky. So I'll take you in here. And we're gonna hold you up by the uh, by the receiver, so maybe you can hear what's going on too. So there's where we got the receiver. Wow, this is awesome! In low light. Come here, check this out. I mean, we got the TV on, but look. Okay. Look how awesome bright it is in low light. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. This is what we got going on here. So let's turn this up a little bit. Okay, it's all the way up. All right. Now, I want to set you right here. stuff we've been hearing. There's Bruno. The cat's in with mom. And we're going to sleep. That's the loudest one yet. Because I was just sitting there talking to this thing.
fuck? I don't know what the fuck. Okay, the cat just walked out of mom's room. There she is. So we know it's not her. Oh, shit. Okay, that's hard on the fucking shins. Sounds to me like there's just something 
you know, like, you know, doing that shit. There is no one in this house. Mom's asleep. She's been asleep for several hours. You saw Monkey and Bruno and you saw the cat going out of Mom's room, so we know it was none of them. Is anybody here right now? Well, I told, I said earlier, I told it to make a noise over here and I'll be able to hear him. And I said whisper or something in there. Um, because we started... Uh, just out, out of the blue, I thought, you know, what we should do. And she said, okay, let's try it. And we started hearing these strange noises. Then we heard a voice. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's when I came out here. Well, my... okay, something just moved over here beside me. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can see this, if the camera can pick that up. The hairs are standing up on my arms. Anyway, monkey came out too. And that's when I said, you know, to, I said this little box over here, I said, if you come over here, I'll, I'll be able to hear you. And the, the noises, they were nowhere near that, that pronounced earlier. I mean, they were, you know, light, but this, I mean, it was loud, you know. Check, check. Is this mic working? Doesn't look like, okay, maybe it is. I don't have my glasses on. And Monkey was like, you think someone's up there? I'm like, no, man, for them to get up there, I'd, I would have to hear them, you know, climbing up in there. And as you can see, nothing's moving. Okay, so. All right, let's go back in for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to upload this for you guys, so. I even had night vision on, so I wouldn't trip over that thing. Oops. What the hell happened there? Oh. Hit the wrong button. All right. Now I'll show you the way the door is, in fact. guys know there's nobody here right so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close this door all the way okay. the door is closed there's no one here what the fuck I hope you guys heard that Monkey, did you hear that? No? She's probably half asleep. Wish she had this uh, night vision thing on top. Something just made a noise right here. Okay. Snickers. Okay, Snickers is on the chair. Mom's over there in bed. Her TV is not 
Okay, her TV is on, I think. It's just the screen that's on. Okay, it's just, it went to sleep? Yeah. Something, I ju we just come out of the, out of the garage, I just shut the door and something like knocked. You didn't hear it? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Was you sleeping? No, no, I was just lying here. All right, let's give it a couple more minutes. Bruno, go lay down. Well, remember, where you... Right there it is. Holy shit. <laughs> Her face. Oh, my
go out and check it out. I'll finish my cigarette. And I'll talk to you guys for a minute. Very weird. You coming? No. No? <laughs> Why not? It's funny because... After that voice? Uh-uh. No. Me. Listen, I said, when I first turned that on, I said, yeah, I said, watch, we hear something say, get out. And she said, I'll just go out there and tell her to get the fuck out of my house. Uh -huh. She heard that voice. I said, go tell it. She's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> I said, yeah, I want to hear you say it if we hear and something. And it was a male's voice. And we did, yeah. It yeah. was it was plain as day. We just couldn't understand what I mean, it said. I mean, it happened so fast. It was like, was it my dad? Was it somebody else? You no, know, not everything no. has to be your dad. I mean. But a lot of that stuff is like history. Okay, but yeah, I, but I remember I have a lot of antique tools that came from God knows where. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, good. before I even got your dad's tools out here. Yeah. We just never heard anything because we're clearing here on the other side of the house. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Strange. Very strange. Okay, so let's go in here. I'm going to finish my cigarette. Talk to you guys for a minute. Where's that damn tote? There it is. Because, see, if I'm not looking at the screen. You know, I don't shut the same way off. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Alright. Jump the night vision now. Okay, so. See, nothing is moved. Nothing. Nothing's moved at all. Okay, so let's get you up here on the pod. Alright All right, guys, so like I said, I just thought you know what the hell I'd give it a shot, right? Get you over here. And I thought, you know, we're not doing that. We're just watching TV. We'll just put that up on the bed behind us and you know, maybe we'll capture something. And uh it proved to be a very useful uh, paranormal investigation tool in my book because what I'm going to talk to you about so it's kind of like a baby monitor it might be an older style because it, it is a room monitor so it's probably what it's for I keep calling that other thing a transceiver it's not a transceiver because it doesn't transmit it just receives so it's a receiver this is the transmitter now like certain things you know you might say well that that works off FM radio waves true but noises like that do not come through radio waves I mean we know it was in here that was not a something from the radio or something from you know uh, interference that's an actual noise of something out here making a noise though nothing is moved but you guys heard it I know you had to hear it because well if the camera if the camera mic didn't pick it up you're not even going to be watching this video so if you're watching this video <coughs> the camera mic picked it up but You know, I mean, and earlier, it, it felt like something went down my shoulder, like from here to here, real light, like they just took their finger and just right down through there about that long of my back. So it was like, and, and Monkey was out here, well, she was right just on the other side of the door there, and I felt it, and I mean, I just got goose chills everywhere. So that was very weird. That was after the first noises we heard. Like I said, you could hear them. Hear the noises fine, but those were loud. Those ones you heard there. And those were the loudest ones so far. So there's going to be more of this. We're going to be using this a lot more. And I know you guys know it's just me, her, and her mom the cat and the dog and you seen the cat was in the room 
Bruno did come in, but when Bruno, when I let Bruno in, those noises after that, there was nobody here. I swear to you, no one is in this house but us. So, I mean, so no, them, them knocks, them bangs, or whatever the fuck they are, they're not, um, that's not radio interference, you know. That's not a static, you know. Right before I turned my chair, my chair's hitting this, but there was something over here just pecked on that door. You know, um, but like I said, um, you know, I don't want to tell you what it's about, but I am going to interview her mom. I'll see if she wants to do it tomorrow and let her tell you the story about what's been happening with her. But, you know, it seems mostly to be in this garage, so we don't know if it's one of the antique tools because we have some of her grandfather's tools in here too. That don't necessarily mean it's her dad. I've got a lot of other old tools here. We've got old stuff in this house. We've got stuff we bought at, at flea markets and yard sales, you know. And so, and it's not the doll, so, um, because the doll is in mom's room in the closet, boxed up. She's not out here in this garage. I just heard something out in the kitchen. Like a tap. I, I don't know if it was monkey or I don't see anyone. So what we're going to... I think what we're going to have to do... We're going to have to investigate this place and see what's going on. And, and since we live here, it's no problem for us to do it over time. Uh, maybe we can do a playlist on it and gather evidence see if you guys might capture something in our videos that that maybe we didn't capture um you know a lot of things will be able to be debunked this can't be debunked i mean i can't debunk it i'm an investigator i've got an open mind i don't automatically hear a noise and go this place is haunted but that's very compelling and i know you know i i mean it's just like you know the EVP we captured when we was working on that engine over there um, you know don't drop it or, or something like that or don't break it or something um, the camera moved on its own a lot of stuff goes on in this garage now I got some stories I can tell you about you know when I'm out here myself daytime nighttime it doesn't matter which of course it shouldn't because you know spirits don't wear watches they don't care what time it is. If the place is haunted, they're going to be roaming around. They're going to roam around. It don't matter to them when they do it. So it doesn't matter whether it's daytime or nighttime. It's just nighttime. Um, you know, things are more quieter. You got less traffic, you know, and, and people sleep and you're not, you know, the neighbors aren't making a lot of noises. Tonight, the neighbors, they're, they're not playing any music. Uh, they're quiet tonight and usually... They only play their music during the day because long about sundown, they'll usually shut it off. Um, so I, I don't know. Man, I, I just don't know. So if you guys are future ghost hunters, I, I prefer to be called an uh, investigator because I don't hunt for ghosts. I investigate what's causing paranormal occurrences. Um, but if you're if you're just starting out, just remember that you, it doesn't have to be dark time. It doesn't have to be 1 a.m. like it is right now. It could be 1 p.m. You just got to remember it's going to be a lot of more a lot more variables that you have to deal with. Like especially outside, even at night, it could be an animal. You know, there's a lot of noises outside regardless of what time it is. Um, but when you're in this garage. Now remember, we're surrounded by concrete. You know, we got the door there. We got concrete. So this is, well, it's cinder block. This is cinder block. You know, both sides of that door is cinder block. 
that whole wall back there cinder block except for the man door now this wall here along here over here where the uh, where the toolbox and monitors and stuff is now that wall is um it's that fire retardant stuff it's like drywall in the same way with on the other side because this is a garage you know it's code you, you have to have that and it is also insulated that 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 whole wall is heavily insulated so once you close this door and of course it's a solid door because it's actually considered like an outside door because it goes into the garage it's a solid door and it's pretty soundproof you know I mean you might hear the air conditioner running now I got the door open when I close that door um, they can't it, uh, like if I'm grinding they can hear it but it, it's not to where it's, it bugs them um, because when I close that door it's, it's pretty silent in here you know so wow anyway guys thanks for watching um, heads up next Saturday this Saturday night slash Sunday morning next Saturday in this garage live karaoke night so I'll be set up right there so that should be fun but let me know in the comments below what do you think what do you think it is who do you think it might be could it be her father yes it could be but it could also be someone else too like you know I've had occurrences out here, you know, even before he passed away, <coughs> but not as often. But then again, you know, we didn't have that thing set out here. That's the thing we did late night last night. That's the thing we fixed and got, got working. And I just thought, what the hell, let's try it, you know. And my shin is killing me. <laughs> Pros and cons of everything. <laughs> Watch where you're walking in the dark when you're ghost hunting. But, um... Yeah, just some weird stuff. A lot of weird things have been going on. So, when we first got together, you know, I told her, I, you know, stayed here for a little bit. And so, I don't think this house is haunted. And I said, you know, I hear some things once in a while, but so I don't think it's haunted. I thought maybe it was the land around us, but now it's, you know, it's it's more dedicated to the garage, you know, and one other room, but that's that's another story which I'm not going to tell but I'll have someone tell you that story but you know like I said it's mostly dedicated in this garage like a lot of times we'll be sitting because you know we leave the garage door open like that far because that's where the kitty box is so when Snickers has to come in and do what she's got to do and then you know so we leave the door cracked open for uh, sometimes we'll hear something and I'll come out and check it out or a lot of times like when she's asleep late at night three o'clock four o'clock in the morning I'm still awake I'll hear something so I'll come out make my rounds you know smoke a cigarette whatever nothing nothing's moved nothing's changed the cats in mom's room the dogs in with us and you know so I I don't know let me know what you think like I said, we do have we do have a lot of antique tools here that belong to a bunch of people. Um, so it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard if you think a place is haunted. It's kind of hard to put a name with it. You know what I mean? It's hard to prove that. Um, but you know, like as far as far as that this device we were just using, this room monitor, I'll trust that any day of the week over any kind of like. Um, uh, the ovulus, I'll trust it over that. Because think about it, someone has to program that, right? Same way with apps on your phone. They're fun, yes, but on a real investigation, I don't use any of that stuff. Um, but like this monitor, I'll use it because I can pretty much tell if something, you know, is actually in that room. Like I know something was in this garage. I heard it. I know it was in here. It wasn't interference. It wasn't a CB breaking through. It wasn't a plane flying overhead. I mean, that was a thump in this garage. And it was loud. So, you know, I mean, I trust that more because it's not programmed. It's radio waves. So, 
and I mean you use that that equipment and you know like the ovulus it, it has what they call a database it has uh, a dictionary in it pretty much it has so many words programmed into it and the theory is that spirits will manipulate that to get words to come out well if you're talking to a spirit from the 1800s they don't know what the hell that is they're not going to know how to work it you know but when you got something like that that they're in here making noises they might not even know I'm here you see what I mean um, you know something moved you know we heard it now whether it actually moved or not or whether they're just taking sounds around them and making a sound like it but that was an actual <coughs> hopefully you guys heard it I mean those were knocks and, and we're the only ones here swear to God and so you, you know you there's just too many variables on, on that electronic stuff you know like the ovulus like the the phone apps you know I mean when you when you when you, when you download them apps I mean they are fun and sometimes yes they can be compelling but again can you use it as evidence not in my book like if I was on a real investigation pick something like that up I know we've used it a couple times but it wasn't a true you know I wasn't investigating anything we were just kind of fooling around with it um, so it's you know I that's why you look at any of my videos I don't get into that super high-tech shit you know I mean I've got cameras I've got night vision um, I've got uh, voice recorders which the best voice recorder to use by the way guys if you're just starting out get you get you an old analog you know it takes the little tapes those are the best recorders you can use um, but as far as that goes um, no and if you're just starting out just get your camera it doesn't have to be night vision you can use flashlights though I do like night vision because it's kind of it's a you know kind of a different spectrum of light you don't need a full spectrum camera in fact if you just got a camera that flashes you can use your cell phone if it's got a flash um, uh, take still images but always take more than one <coughs> if you can take two simultaneous or not simultaneously but back to back two to three I always took two boom boom okay that's really all you don't need to take like a hundred pictures in a row you might as well be taking videos if you do that so and then if you catch something you can always stop that frame you know screenshot it or whatever but always take at least two pictures you don't need high expensive equipment you know like like I've, I've had some neat stuff like that one device I had that I made myself I'm gonna make another one it works off a of static so when I get the stuff for that I'll build it I'll show you how to build it it's fairly easy if you know your way around the soldering iron you're good to go um, but yeah I don't see anything that's out of place I don't know so anyway guys thanks for having a cigarette with me I'm going to edit this video and put it up for you now what I'm not going to edit I'm not going to cut anything out so if there's a long pause please be patient this is going to be kind of like raw unedited the only thing I'm going to do is I will turn the sound up that's it I'll do my intro and outro but the video that you're watching is going to be uncut it's going to be just like this I will raise the volume up on it but that's it I'm not going to enhance anything I'm not going to you know enhance the camera of course really this is a, a audio really anyhow so but I'm not going to do any messing around with the audio and you know if you guys don't believe me if you want I'll send you this raw unedited so which is kind of what it's going to be other than like I said my intro and outro but yeah I mean you guys hopefully you heard it we heard it we've been hearing it so anyway guys thanks for watching uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and Shea Bear the Myth Man Legend I'm gone for now we'll chat to you guys soon alright thanks again guys 
Bye bye and take care. Hopefully that was the TV.